Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video in more detail on the text-to-speech. Sometimes you come across words that the text-to-speech engine just doesn't like. And it's, for example, if I play this one, it's going to have a lot of trouble with the word refrigerator. So let's see what this sounds like. Great kitchen with new stainless steel appliances. The refrigerator is not included. So you heard that for whatever reason it's it's struggling. So I, I've been playing around and uh, I haven't gotten it perfect. Maybe a little bit better, but um, you know you might you might try a couple of things. I tried spelling it differently, adding hyphens and stuff. Great kitchen with new stainless steel appliances. The refrigerator is not included. <laughs> so that's not even much better. But uh, you might try an alternate. Um, you know, like, let's see what happens if we, the fridge, let's see what this sounds like, I haven't even tried this yet, so. Great kitchen with new stainless steel appliances. The fridge is not included. Okay, so that was better, uh, definitely better than refrigerator. So, um. You might come across those sometimes, so you definitely want to, you know, preview the slides, see how they sound. You might find other things in here um, where it um, has a weird uh, character could be in there, causing it to that shouldn't be there in the text. It might be good in the, um, you know, in the text over the slide, but in the the text to speech, maybe it shouldn't. Um, be in there. So uh, here's another one. I haven't listened to this. The dining area plus fireplace. Let's see what that one sounds like. Dining area fireplace. Okay, so I just skipped over it. So in that case, you'd want to actually spell it out. You would either say dining area plus fireplace or dining area with fireplace is probably better. Dining area with fireplace. So you can see that our, our text on the slide is the same, but we changed the, the speech, which makes more, more sense that way. Okay, so you'll just, just with playing around with the text to speech, you might have to play with the, the spelling because it's phonetic or whatever. Uh, it does really well, but um, there are just some words that are just hard for it to figure out. So um, you just have to tweak those and, of course, make sure there's no special characters it's struggling with. And um, sometimes people put weird characters like a pipe in there and that really throw things off. I think the um, – let's see what this one does. Dining area vertical bar fireplace. So it's saying vertical bar, vertical bar fireplace. Okay, so um, that, uh, again, would be something you wouldn't want. So. Anyway, uh, play around the text-to-speech and you'll see uh, what works for you.